What's going on guys, King Tar Heel here, and uh, today we're going to take a look at some of the crafting and kingdoms of the MLR Reckoning. Uh, the crafting in this game is not uh, as deep as it is in a lot of other games, but it also involves that there isn't any grinding. There's no, uh, like say in Skyrim, where you have to you know, improve all the weapons you find lying around and then sell them off to get your smithing skill up so you can get the next perk. Uh, in this, you craft what you need, uh, you scrap what you don't, uh, so we'll get into that a little bit. Alright, first thing we'll start off with is blacksmithing. Uh, to start crafting with blacksmithing, you'll need to find a forge. Uh, there's one in, in the main town uh, in the building. Uh, just look for any anvils on your mini map. Uh, on the forge, you'll get the craft and salvage uh, menu, and you'll be able to look at those. Uh, when you go to salvage, since you can't craft without materials, you need to salvage first. Uh, it'll tell you what it is, and it'll also tell you at the bottom here what your uh, current blacksmithing skill will allow you to. Uh, salvage. So you, I can do up to infrequent uh, green and rare items. Right, once we're on the salvage screen, uh, you'll get a list of the items that you can salvage. None of these items will be your equipped items, so you don't have to worry about salvaging something that you currently have equipped. These are all stuff that is in your inventory. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we can go, we can salvage an item, we'll get the item that we get and the bonus that we get from that item. Uh, this is an armor bonus. So we'll go through and salvage all of these materials and uh, the bonuses and a lot of times and we can do up to the great swords and stuff that I have in my bag laying around. Uh, these are you know, poison bonuses, uh, more poison bonuses and stuff. So once you salvage, uh, excuse me, salvage your items, you'll be able to uh, then craft your items and we'll go into that next. So once we're at the crafting screen, uh, you'll get a list of items that you are able to craft. The ones with the green check mark uh, means you have all the components necessary to make that item and it goes through the mage, rogue, uh, warrior, and weapons. Uh, so I like hammers so let's start with a hammer and we'll show you guys. This is the core component. Uh, this is the main component that has uh, your mage damage threshold. Uh, then you can add bonuses to it. We have simple shaft uh, which adds three physical damage. And here we have two basic grips. We can add a grip that is plus five health, or we can do a basic magnifying grip, which will add a 3% chance to crit. So we'll take that, and then we'll have symbol bindings. And the more of these you have, the more options you have to build your ideal weapon. Uh, so here you can get what your weapon is going to be. It's a blue hammer, uh, very slow speed. And with all the stuff that we just got, you can compare it to what you currently have equipped uh, and see uh, how it compares. And then you go ahead and craft it. And then you get to name it. So we'll have Tar Heels Hammer. And now we have a new blue hammer. Uh, pretty cool. And I'll show you uh, one with a gem too. Uh, we'll go Mage Armor. And we're going to craft some robes. So we have the basic robes that give us the 29 armor. And now we get to pick uh, do we want lightning resistance, 4 more armor, or 8 more armor? Uh, so we'll pick lightning resistance, uh, five health, four more armor, and then we get to pick a gem at the end uh, if you have gems. And we can add five more lightning resistance, plus seven elemental resistance, and plus five resistance. So we'll do elemental resistance. And we got a blue robe. Um, you can, again, I'm going to go ahead and compare it if you had it, but I'm not wearing a robe, so fine robe. And uh, that's how you go ahead and craft. Uh, you can pick and choose. The one important thing to remember is that there is no uh, leveling up. It's based on your skill points that you get when you level up, what you're able to craft, and what you're able to uh, salvage. So if you're having inventory problems like I am with all the pre-order bonuses and DLC filling up your bag, um, the regents don't cost any inventory slots, but the stuff you make does. So you can either craft to sell stuff. Some of this stuff sells for a pretty good price if you're having money issues or gold issues. Uh, so that's the important thing to remember. There's no benefit in just making something to make it. Uh, either make it to use it or make it to sell it. Okay, next we're going to go a little bit into alchemy. Uh, for there you need to go to an alchemical lab. There's one uh, in the alchemy shop in Gorhart. Uh, it's to the left when you're facing the inn when you enter the town. Uh, so, here uh, is the two screens you get create and experiment. Uh, in create, uh, you're able to make any potion that you already know from the materials that are in your bag. You can see what you can make. 
So I just made a minor healing, healing potion right there. Uh, the fun screen is the experiment screen, and from here you can make, uh, based on the regions you have, you can experiment with different uh, different potions, and ba they're based on the keywords in the description. Uh, they're blue, you see physical, uh, poison, and stuff like that, and the number of regions you can put in there is based on the number, uh, your, based on your alchemy skill, excuse me. So let's say we wanted to do restoration. So you're looking for kind of like terms like restoration, health, and then add power. And you can press and you can do, and you made a grading healer potion. And then this will be in your, um, in the other screen, excuse me, uh, the create screen. You'll be able to make those from here on out. So you can experiment with them a little bit. Some of the regions to look out for are the uh, Blood Root, uh, which adds power to any potion, which basically upgrades any potion. And also the Scarab Salts adds luck to any mixture. So we'll take that same mixture we had, Restoration, Health, Blood Rot, uh, blood, blood Root, excuse me, and we'll add luck to it. And we'll start an experiment, and it did nothing. So this is what happens when an experiment fails. Uh, you get Unstable Potion, uh, and this is... A uh, random potion. Uh, it'll do something good or bad, uh, so it's you know your risk to use it. Uh, but basically, when something is failed, you'll end up getting a random potion. So you can experiment with all of uh, the different regions that you pick up if you're uh, doing alchemy, and uh, you can make some pretty powerful potions. Again, the same thing with the uh, blacksmithing is the potions. Ten potions is one inventory slot. So making 40 minor mana potions takes up 4 inventory slots, but all of these regions take up 0. So you need, if you're having inventory issues, you need to manage your inventory, and probably better just to make 10 and then come back and make 10 more. Alright, next up is lock picking, which is pretty simple if you played any Skyrim or Elder Scrolls type game. You want to find a place to put the lock pick and then see if there's any resistance into... Uh, when you try to push it across. If there's any resistance, you want to push it back and move it, and you want to tweak it uh, a little bit based on how far along the bar you were able to get. Uh, it's pretty easy, and the tougher the lock is based on your lock picking skill. Uh, next is dispelling. Dispelling, there's uh, little wards like these around that you can dispel, and you get to play a little dispelling mini game. And I'll show you right here, and you have to click on the uh, symbol and the symbols, certain symbols last longer, so the one up up top with the double on it, that one is really, really short. So you want to go around and you want to click on them, and you have a certain time uh, in the upper left to get them done, and go ahead and dispel it. So pretty simple, uh, and again, the same thing, the higher you're dispelling, uh, the lower, uh, the easier uh, that the dispel will get. So that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Um, leave me some comments if you have any questions, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. So have a good night. Take care.